First interview was with a Rwandan businessman working in a suburb of Bangui, affectionately referred to as Kigali. They started calling this place Kigali because many Rwandans started to come here, gathering and setting up shop and residence. Soon, Burundians started joining us and other foreigners started calling this suburb Kigali. Because here you can't really tell apart Rwandans from Burundians, Everybody just started saying we are in Kigali and using that name when giving directions to others. And so it stuck, even though there is no signpost declaring that name. Rwandans were not always welcome in the Central African Republic, however. When we first arrived in this country, everybody looked down on us. After RDF peacekeepers arrived, everything changed. They initially came in as AU troops, basically saved us all because everything had come to a halt here and things began to return to normal. When the locals saw the peace and security Rwandans had restored, they started to embrace us as brothers and warm up to us. Rwandans have since built up a reputation of being very hard-working. They see us as very hardworking and energetic because of how we do our best to earn money and get cash. We are truly blessed in that aspect. That is what I can say because we know how to make money and never feel any sort of work is beneath us. We have built up a very good reputation for our country Rwanda here because even the president of the Central African Republic loves us because of how we do things. Our soldiers have also made a name for themselves and that has only given Rwanda even more credibility. What we have here because of our president Paul Kagame is hard to explain. Thanks to the support he has been sending, we Rwandans are very popular and people always want to know if we are really Rwandan nationals. RDF peacekeepers also visit us regularly to see how we are doing. Paul Kagame has not abandoned us, even though we live abroad. He has continued to follow up on us. We have security. The reputation Rwandans have in that country improved even more during the election period when RDF special forces arrived. You would have had to be here to truly understand how things were at that time and the tension in the air. All a person had to do was blow a whistle to send everybody scurrying in different directions and ducking for cover. Suddenly, we started seeing troops we had not seen before, and everybody was afraid at first, thinking we had been invaded, until we noticed that they had the Rwandan flag on their shoulders as an emblem, our country's flag. While civilians and local soldiers alike were fleeing from different areas, the special forces were heading towards the trouble and reassuring people along the way. Soon the shooting stopped and peace returned, and now everybody is praising Rwandans and Rwanda and saying thank you Kagame. As the rebels closed in on Bangui and rumors became rife, we all felt that we were in imminent danger. But soon we heard that Rwandan special forces were coming in to work alongside the UN troops on the ground to salvage the situation, and the local residents were overjoyed. Even now they are still saying it is thanks to us when they see Rwandans. Rwandan nationals living in the Central African Republic have, however, one more thing they ask of their country. Based on the relations Rwanda has built up with the Central African Republic, also taking into consideration that it was the only country, excluding those in Minisca, to come to the aid of people here when it seemed that things had started going sideways again. Our government should open up an embassy here so that we can continue assisting this country to come out of this trouble, basing on our own experiences and how we overcame our own problems. They are, after all, our African brothers. In addition to Rwanda nationals who went to Karo back in 1994, and in the years afterwards, other recent Rwandan investors have been going there to start businesses.